All right. I'll go first. All right. All right. So uh, we skipped deck text this week. We're a little short on time, but uh, we are uh, playing two known archetypes. I am playing a green white aggro deck. Uh, not necessarily humans. We do have Stringer, Geist, Silverblade Paladin, Sublime Archangel, Wolf or Silverheart, and a bunch of mana dorks, Rancors, etc. Brian is playing a five-color Ollie and Trazi Brew. Yep, yep. This is a uh, five-color ramp control deck that uh, Ollie's been working on, and uh, I've been watching him play on Moto. It's pretty sweet. And as you can tell by this hand right here, uh, definitely a bit of a brew. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We're gonna have to shift this one back though, but uh, okay. I'll just I'll just let you see the glory that is this hand right here. All right, I vote we both mulligan seven. Let's just start off with start a... off with a good hand. Okay. This game one good. All right, my hand featured uh, like two or three forests and an arbor elf. Really need to draw temple garden to be able to cast literally any spell in my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, temple garden on top. After I looked, uh, I'm just like Ugh. obviously wanted to keep believe in the heart of the cards Yu-Gi-Oh style, but you know, without all the thievery and. Yeah. <laughs> and this about the rampant thievery and that's destroying other small children. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pegasus. <laughs> I don't know if I like the caverns this deck, but uh, well, it seems a little greedy with the five color right. Both Morgan and seven. We'll uh, have a good game one, hopefully. I will keep. This yeah, I'll keep this rather powerful. Sands. Mm, turn one, turn one temple. That is the most powerful opening play. I prefer Sun Petal Grove, but well, you got Sun Petal Grove too, son. Get some. I'm at eighteen. Go. Do you have to? Do you have to let them linger? Go. So no. get some for you. Fourteen. Go. Feeling he's just gonna like jam. Whatever that thing is that sublime, flies. yeah, that thing, and, just and then just attack with one double track in monster. So we're gonna cast this sure. and put two spirits into play. Do you have to? Do you have to let it go? If I can find some spirits, it's probably right there. there. Oh, yeah, it's right here. I feel like this would be a great time for some being very, very angry. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice, but uh, you're going to have to get Block. going. All right, take eight. Not six. So I can progress my board here, but I'm pretty sure he's just untapping and casting Wrath, so I'm just going to pass turn. And that's if he Wraths, he's going to be almost dead to just the Strangeru Geist, and he will be dead to Strangeru Geist if I draw any pump effect, because I get the Rancor back. <coughs> that's a good uh... one. Yep. Mm. Tag one. Go to 19. Ow! Supreme Verdict. Alright. Triggers. Back yep. to him. I go and to death. one, essentially. Maybe. If Unless he has a way to kill me. Alright, we'll suit him up. And Charms. Clear attacks. I'm sorry, you can't play that during your combat Oh, that's phase. true. I could not play during my combat phase. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, it got destroyed. That was, yeah, pretty cool. Died on turn five despite playing Supreme Verdict. Yeah, that's rough. Turn yeah, I, I peeled the... Uh, and Lingering Souls, too. Yeah. I peeled the double-tracking guy. Uh, I had the Rancor. I could have uh, just played, like, I had two Smiters in hand, and I was thinking about just, like... Shrink Root into Smiter into Rancor and attack, and then just like hope you don't wrath me. Uh, but we drew the guy that lets me do a million damage, so that was nice. Guys, I pretty he's pretty good. Yeah, Silver Blade Pop. Sick. I, I see green, light, green white lists that don't have them, and it just seems wrong to me. Yeah, I agree. Like, but, I mean, Rancor I, and Celestine Charm and yeah. Silverheart. Ugh. I haven't seen too many that don't have them. Mm. So. I was uh, looking at like Magic Online results yep. for that deck and just wasn't like a lot of lists didn't have it. And it was, mm. That list that looks, I think that list looks awesome, but it's just me. Like four of every good card. <laughs> just yeah. kill your opponent. It only has three Slosian charms, I think, but uh, I think I it's, that's okay. I think. Yeah, I mean it's a little situational, but it is very good when it, when your opponent's like tapped out, having to like figure out blocks mid combat. It's especially Six, awesome with 
Well, no, this, is, right. this is another I have to draw a Temple Guard in hand. I'm keeping this. I'm in a mulligan. It's like a one-lander with a bunch of four and five drops, so I'm not really think I'm going to get there. This hand doesn't have, like, a lot of gas, but this deck has a lot of gas, so um, I'm fine keeping it. Hopefully just like draw into a Sphinx's Revelation. Or yeah, like, if I hit, like, a, one of the uh, one of the four Sphinx's Revelations in this deck, this hand becomes, like, very, very good, so. Yeah. The fact that you have four Sphinx's Revelation is pretty spicy. I actually... Have gotten a newfound respect for that card after playing with it. Mm -hmm. I think that more. card's amazing, and yeah, I would say definitely the best card in this deck. So. Um, another one lander. I'm gonna keep it. I think going to five is pretty bad. My hand's actually yeah. fine if I draw a couple of lands. So, go. And go. Take two. Okay, go. So, not be surprised if he just uh, makes a dude end a turn. We'll play Chromatic Lantern, so you go. Yeah. Okay. Make a 2-2 two, two with Vigilance, even. Indeed. Where are you at, bro? And I'm done. 18. This card might possibly be the bane of Brian's existence, so hopefully it'll be good. Go. Card is reasonably good against me. So I think here we're just going to cast Ranger's Path. Sure. Cost five because of Thalia and gets actually just doesn't matter unless he gets rid of Chromatic Lantern. So. Yep. Four. Yep. Fourteen. Um. We'll play spider. Okay. I feel I'm gonna get wrath, but I gotta get wrath sooner or later. I'd rather force him to do it now. That's a spicy number. Hey. Uh, I don't know if it's right to play it now though, because uh, it just dies. But maybe that is right. Let's see. Play this name, angel. So, one, two, three, four. We have eight mana. That's seven for this. Seven for both halves of this. Um, yeah, we're just going to play Garrick. Sure. He's probably going to die, but um, he's going to really clog the board up in the process. I'll make a beast. He goes to four. There's a, there's a beast over here somewhere. It better be. East. Well, Just get a centaur if there's no one. Get a centaur. We've been using centaurs, I think. So. <clears throat> All right. Brian's at 14. I can potentially just ignore Garrick, but I don't think that that's a winning proposition. Uh, especially. Let's see. I can. Play this, give this double strike, attack him with this, and then these at Garrick. And if he takes eight, uh, he'll go to six, and he can only block one of these, and it'll leave Garrick at two, so he can't draw cards with it. But he will be able to make a beast next turn, so I think that's actually a play. So we'll pair with this guy. Okay. And we'll attack you for eight, and then Garrick for four. All right, well, I'm going to block Thalia. Yep. And so Garrett goes to two. And then you take eight. I take eight. I go to six. Yeah. So. And then uh, take up. It's pretty risky if he has um, another Celestia charm. So. Or a ranker. Yep. So hopefully he is lacking those cards. All right. So we do not draw anything relevant. Can this, this, this. Yeah. All right, make another beast. Working. Don't see any? Uh, Farseek lingering with flashback. Mm, okay, so that's all this mana. Um, just use it upside down. Oh, okay. All right, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and search for anything really. Sure. All right, 
Um, attack you. Yep. So, let's see. If he has a Celestian Charm, what's the way I cannot lose? So, let's see. If I put these two in front of this, then I'd be taking six from that guy. It kills me. Um, I don't think you can actually survive this last new charm. I couldn't think of a block that does. Well, let's see. What about this? This. I still die. Yeah. So I still die to Slesnia Charm regardless. I mean, I have it. I just don't think. I'm trying to figure out a way for you to not die, and I don't think there is one. Ugh. That's gross. Double Strike Trample is pretty much a lot. Yeah. I don't think... I mean, I'm soaking up... Yeah. Yeah, I'm just dead. Yep. Yep. No. <laughs> no. Yep. So let's move to sideboarding. You get to... Make your deck a little more efficient. I get to bring in a couple of goodies. And I felt good about that game, but that second Celestia Charm is brutal. Yeah. Didn't seem like he had too much spy removal, mostly just sweepers. So I'm not I don't think Sigard is actually that good against him. Um, I think I definitely want Dried Militant because of lingering souls and he might have, like, Forbidden Alchemy or something. The Fourth Thalia and Triumph of Ferocity seem pretty good, too, so... Maybe the Garrix, but... Uh, well, I like all these. Um, not sure how great Curse is, but uh, it's probably fine. See the cards I'm not happy with. Um, so I think a lot of the big stuff has to go. I don't think we, like, have a lot of time for these cards, unfortunately. Um, we do want to keep Angel's Family, though, because that card's actually very, very good against Green White. Yeah, I agree. Garrick. I actually think Garrick's okay, too. Um, I'm just going to cut Wolf or Silver Hearts for smaller creatures. I just want to be very aggressive and... Like, when you have a lot of things like Planeswalkers that generate blockers, like, Silverheart's ability is actually not relevant. Especially considering that you're just wrathing me at pretty much every point where I play two plus creatures, so. I want to keep in all the Sphinx's Revelations, which may be in all the ramp spells, and that may not be right, but maybe, it, like, maybe I should be trimming on one Sphinx's Revelation. Or maybe I trim on, like, like, something has to get cut here. Maybe it's Ranger's Path. I don't know if I have time to Ranger's Path. And just stick the far seeks. Uh, I'm cutting out a lot of the top end, so that's probably fine. Cut like two rangers pass, so it's like six cards. Six. I don't know if I like. Garrick's actually kind of sweet in this deck, but. Um, yeah. Don't know how good Lingering Souls is, to be honest. I'm gonna cut one. I'm gonna cut one Lingering Souls and keep the Garrick in. I'll try sure. that. So our deck is going to be a lot better against his aggressive draws, but we don't have as many good ways to close the game, so we're relying a lot on Sphinx's Revelation to just outpace him with cards. So, mm -hmm. right, so Brian's going to be on the play for game three. Uh, you know, like, definitely showing the fast killing power from this deck, just being able to Silver Blade Paladin plus Trample, Rancor, and Celestial Charm both doing a lot of work. Yeah, that deck is very mean and efficient. Like, it's a very good deck. If you don't... You have to interact very early with it, or you just <coughs> get run over. Yeah, and the fact that a lot of decks are trimming down on Pillar means that it's much harder for those kind of decks to interact with, with this deck early on. Makes Stringer guys a lot better, too, which is good. Another one, Lander. Gotta toss it back. <clears throat> this, this hand has actual nothing. <laughs> but again, I think I don't we're know. gonna keep. <laughs> yeah, like <coughs> we have so <coughs> many draws that bring us back into the game. That I, I mean, think it's just all ramp spells. Like that's not that bad against me. Like you just want to get yeah. to the point where you can start casting like a huge spell every single turn. Like, yeah, like, you have four wraths, like a bunch of angels of serenity, a bunch of things of revelations. Like, and you're on the play, and I'm mulliganing, so. 
I guess you wouldn't have known that I was Mulligan. I wouldn't have known that you were Mulligan. But, but. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to try this, and we could just flood out and die. But. And no lands. Sweet. Oh, what is this, man? I'm Mulligan a lot with decks like this. Yeah, I think decks like that just do Mulligan a lot. Well, I mean, it's like... Most of, like, the two-landers that I've had, I've been able to keep, but I just, like... I mean, you're playing, like, a 23-land deck with a bunch of fives. Like... You know, I caught them. I just yeah. had a, I had a one-lander that was a Sun Petal Grove and a no-lander, so... Yeah. Last game, I had a one-land Arborel, two four-drops, and a five-drop hand, so... And the land was a forest, not a Temple Garden, so... Couldn't actually cast anything. My six-card hand was also a one-lander. Right, let's go to five... Okay. Go. Yep. All right. So this hopefully will slow him down a little bit with his uh, lingering souls and things of that nature. But <coughs> oh, far seek. Yep. And I'm done. Yep. Eighteen. Go. The old white weenie draw. Let's hope we don't get fire spouted. <laughs> or I guess Timblord would be the equivalent. Don't think it's in his deck, but I don't know. Ollie has some weird stuff usually, so <laughs> could be anything. Miracle Terminus. Oh, Kessig. I'm not a oh. oh, strong, perfect. Uh, six, <clears throat> twelve. Go. Okay. All right, Doc. Well, that's a very good one right here. No! Is it's it a verdict very or good one. Uh, Beast. It's Curse of Deathhold, actually. Oh, gross. God. Alright, attack for three. Alright, now on to nine. Go. <coughs> Sphinx's Revelation. Four for four. <laughs> oh, thank you! <laughs> no, it's Sphinx's Ollie Revelation. and Trousy, the King of Curses. Good. Land. Angel. Uh, we'll abrupt decay the silver blade paladin. Sure. Go. Yeah, Dolly's not playing anymore. It's true. Nothing. 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 No, that's something. Go ahead. Ugh. Go. My whole hand dies to curse. <clears throat> Sphinx's Revelation 5. Yep. Up to 14. fourteen. Two, three, four, five. Go. I think we're going to win this one. Boys. The old <laughs> Mold of 5 has the <laughs> curse on 4. And the other two removal spells. And Thrag Tusk. Yep. Up to 19. And two far seeks. Yep. Go ahead. Your turn. I kept a one lander on the draw. Drawing this one. <laughs> I got a bunch of dead ones in hand. I can't cast those that dead weight because you know black mana. So. I said dead ones, not dead weights. Come on. <laughs> Are you a bull friend? I'm yeah, I'm just gonna. Whatever. Wolf on you twice. So. Yep. Yay. There's, no, he has curse. Maybe Silverheart's not actually that bad. I didn't even expect that, to be honest. Um, Maybe we want yet another curse. It's possible. Do you have one on the board that you didn't bring in? Yep. It kills, like, all my creatures. Uh, sort of. Like, I mean, the only creature it doesn't kill is the big ones. I mean, it, but, I mean, the important ones are the ones that doesn't kill. Like... <laughs> He turned off my entire hand that game. Maybe that's... I don't know. Maybe it's not as good as I thought. I think I'm just going to board out the other Lingering Souls. I'm, or I'm going to just have good under one Lingering Souls. I don't think it's that great with, like, your Rancors and things, so... Yeah, I agree. We'll just... We'll, we'll <laughs> get Mono Curse. Curse, curse, curse. you have four after board? Uh, three. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I wanted to board in the third, because I wasn't... I thought it might be just, like, too slow, too weak, but... Your clan wasted and withered until they were no more in that game. So. 
Maybe I want some cigarra. Cigarra. Get out of here. Sig nasty. Um, I don't know, man. Whatever. I don't know if cutting sublime is right. Seems wrong to me. Well, I don't know what to cut, buddy. Could just cut another arbor off. Whatever. That guy sucks. <laughs> it really does. Just, I don't need that much green. Everything in my deck's like double white, so it's really only good with uh, Temple double garden. garden. Yeah. I mean, it's fine like, when there's like silver hearts in the deck, but if there's not silver heart in the deck, I don't think he's that good. It's definitely worse uh, when playing against Dex with Wrath, too. Yeah, because he just. Yeah, just rather have a land. Yep. Alrighty. I will be on the plate and hopefully have a land. Or two, or three. Here comes the six lander. Alright. Two. Six. Yeah, this hand's fine. Eh, this hand's okay. Go eat. Yeah, got better. Go. Go Get better. ranched. Go. Got worse. <laughs> Got better Go. Gav Wars. <laughs> Card is annoying. Root ya. Yep, 16. Go. Thalia. No, Thalia, no. Alright, Centaur Healer. Sure. Got 19. Let's try to end Thalia's Reign of Terror. No, thank you. Rancor? No. Archangel? Yep. Uh, triggers, attack for 5. Fourteen. Go. That is really hurting me here. Oh yeah, I didn't think she did that again. <laughs> Thought she was a blank. Twelve. Chromatic lanterns. Lingering. Short. Go. Please. Please. Rancor. Yes. Ah, uh, that Get is some. so, so gross. Get some. Attack for four, nine. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get some. Uh, Get some. Put a three. Right, we'll play a stronger group, guys, because if he wraths, we'll have lethal in play. So, go. And if he curses, well, he can't curse next turn. So. Yeah, if Thalia was not there, we'd be... We'd be in fine shape, but she is. So go. She good. Maybe. So, so she annoying. She good. She good. All right. So he's a three. So I think we can actually afford to just attack with everybody here. Um, then if he has an answer for this, we can probably get him with this. So let's bash with everybody. All right. Block. 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 All right. I have no effects. Rub Decay, Rancor. One of the grossest plays I've ever made in my life. Right, well, we'll give her a triple. Alright, dead. Whee! But if you main phase the Rancor on your turn. If I main phase the Rancor, I don't have Rancor. Or main phase the Rub Decay on the Rancor. Two, three, six, seven, keep. My hand is awesome. We're gonna keep. Go. Um, I think you go. Had enough awesome hands for one day. Go ahead. Cry me a river. All right. Um, made eighteen. I made sixteen. Made eighteen. Of course, you're at sixteen. I get abrupt decay. Pass the turn right now. Go. Let's see how it is. Well, everyone's favorite. Cassie <laughs> Wolfron. Centaur Healer. Short. Sure. Heal. Up to 21. Yep. Above 20 life feels so good. Go. Until I lose all of it. Yep. Yep. Go. Not exactly what I had in mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> the heel a little bit more. Okay, so twenty-four. 24. Go ahead. All right. I feel like I'm getting baited here into a wrath, so I'm gonna play it a little bit safe. Uh, we're gonna play this pair. And uh, back. If he wants to block here, I'm fine just like him taking four, because I think I'm gonna get wrath soon anyway. Maybe that's just bad. I don't really just want to force him to wrath if he has it. Yeah, we'll just attack him. Block. Charm. Yeah, charm. Alright, so he'll be at four. Eight so minus three is five. So go to 19. 19. Yeah, go. Cards, two. Uh, two cards, yeah. Uh, I think we name in no even if cast angel. I guess we name Angel anyway. Sure. Tusk. Twenty four. Oh, Tusker Knight. I guess that's about as bad as a rat. That was a good top deck. Mm, deck yeah. for eight. 16. Go. Rancor, very, very tough to beat. It's a goodie. So, four for strike. I guess if we double block that guy, we can kill him. It's one way to deal with him, so. Far seek. Sure. And Centaur Healer. Uh, I actually can't do that, can I? What'd you name with the cavern? An angel? angel, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I guess I actually can't do that. I have to just cast a centaur healer. Sure. There, so you go to 19. And I'm done. And attack. Double. And yeah, kill them both. Get to beasts. Smite, Rancor, Temple Guard, and go. Alright. It's possible I should have attacked with the Pilgrims too since I wasn't using them, but. Right, he I could think just. I will now use the Wrath. Alright, go ahead. So hopefully he went through it all. No, didn't. Yeah. Still has that Rancor too. It's true. And I'm still not drawing land. 20, 28 lands. <laughs> what do you need? 24. Like, what do you need a 6 land for? To cast multiple spells a turn. Oh, fair. Yeah. Alright. Yep. Sorry, sorry, pay an extra attack for 8. So you should be at 25 before this, right? Or 24? Mm hmm. Okay, so attack for 8. Go to 16. Your turn. Alright. <laughs> Doesn't even help Cephalia. It's really annoying. Cephalia. Super annoying since forever. Yep. Getting so much like this game. Yep. I'm at 19. Go. <laughs> Still looking. Alright. If you have a wrath, that's fine. Whatever. Bang. Triggers. So, 4, 5, 6. He's a 7, 4, double striking, trample. That's disgusting. I just have to block with everything. I'm just stuck with right. the rest of the So take eight, yep. I think. Alright, so you go to eleven and take go. Trample double strike. Sweet. There you go. Alright, so he is fourteen, this is three. I would just die if I don't do anything. I feel like you should do something. Yeah. Ugh. What is he? He's 12. If he's like everything. Oh, I hope you have nothing. Go. Well, I currently have nothing. Sounds to me kind of like he has an abrupt decay for the Silverblade Paladin. So I definitely should not attack with Athalia. 
I can attack with both of these, and I think that's probably the play. If I just attack with this, he takes 7 down to 4. He can think it's a revelation for, like, 2. And that's, I mean, he'll still be dead next turn if he doesn't have an answer. There's no reason, I don't think, to not attack with a Silver Blade. Like, if he just wants a Brub Decay the Rancor, I'm fine with that. So, we'll attack with these two. Alright, so, begin with a revelation for 2. Okay, so you go to uh, 13? Yep. Okay. So I guess he can just take it and go to one, or he can chomp block. That's also fine. Um, I just let's see. Play that. that doesn't. You're attacking me right now for twelve. 12? Yeah. I'll block. Okay. So you take nine. Down to four. Yep. And go. No wrath. No wrath. No wrath. No wrath. No wrath. We're dead. Sweet. Yep. <laughs> that so, was... Yeah. Pretty brutal. Just tell us how you really feel, Brian. Just This is a, a moment for you to take. You can blame yeah. Ollie. You can, you can blame yourself. You can blame the deck. I just didn't like it when you had the second Celestia charm, <laughs> man. It just wasn't very nice, all right? <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> I thought I could stabilize, and you blew me out. Yeah. Just cold. Yeah. This. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... You don't, you don't seem very sorry. No, not really. Yeah. So, I uh, I think I've finally broken the, the losing streak to Brian. Uh, you know, I, I won with Goblins last week, I guess, and I won this week, and I beat him with John like two weeks ago. But, you know... Kind of getting my record back up to even, which is really what I'm shooting for, because that's I just I, I want to be the nut average. Yeah, t <laughs> Todd Anderson stri has like one defining goal that like drives his life. He just wants to break even. Break even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, this matchup obviously favored for the green white deck. I guess like every threat is like a must kill. Yeah, and you only have so many wraths. Thalia seemed like a huge problem, as was Rancor. Yeah, like Thalia beat me. Uh, like Thalia was probably the most disgusting thing I've seen this week. Like, I've seen some. Well, she's kind of cute though. Like you can't. Uh, it's true. It's true. Okay. But anyway, uh, yeah. I mean, an Ollie and Trousy brew. Hopefully, he does well with it at the GP. But if he doesn't, you know, not gonna be surprised. I mean, the deck is pretty sweet. Like uh, I don't know. Some Ollie always wins with these decks. He finds. Miraculous ways to win, so I, I don't have that same magic touch that he does. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't play against green-white, because that felt real gross. Yeah, that did. That felt pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, overall, um, I mean, I really like the green-white deck right now. You were talking about how uh, it does look very clean with a bunch of fours. Uh, the cards that are a little weaker has three of, like three Arbor Elf, three Celestine Charm. Like, Charm's very situational, uh, and Arbor Elf, you know, doesn't help cast that many spells in the deck. Uh, since you do have a significant number of double white cards. Um, overall, though, yeah, definitely felt favorable for the green-white deck. Not really sure how to mitigate that uh, other than just playing a different deck. Yeah, I don't know. Like that. Like I said before, I really like that green-white deck a lot. Like, yeah. it's mono creatures, but they're all must-kills. The most, yeah, they're all like, the most powerful creatures for the casting cost. And, uh, like we mentioned, at some point, the lack of Pillar of Flame at, at the moment in the format means that uh, Stringeru Geist is a lot better. Uh, especially with cards like Rancor, um, against like the other creature decks, you're not really afraid of your creatures dying too often, uh, since most of the creature decks focus way more on just playing more threats. So when you have the biggest, baddest threats around, you're just going to beat the other aggro decks. Like when you play Silverblade Paladin and they play Gerald's Messenger, like who cares? Like they can't even block. You know, like you're just yeah. gonna crash in with a Rancor on a guy. They're gonna take a million. They can't block. Or like they attack you with an Ash Cell and then you play like Smiter, and they're yeah. just like. Yeah, three mana four four bro. Yeah, and after board you get like four centaur healers against that deck. So, deck seems sweet. I like it a lot. Uh, so it's not as good <laughs> against like uh, decks like John can be a problem. Right. But just decks that have tons of like spot removal at in especially at instant speed. Anything at instant speed is kind of yeah. A... I feel like a lot of the blue decks are sort of pushing John out of the format, which I like. They are. Um, yeah. Since like John can only afford to play so many cavernous souls uh, to make their creatures uncountable, and they have like a lot of cards that can be very easily countered even when they have uh, a, cavern. A, a cavern. Like, I mean, they have to play, like, some number of Planeswalkers. Uh, like, Rakdos Return's not nearly as good against them. 
especially considering most of the blue-eyed decks now have Sphinx's Revelation to, to regain card advantage. So, right. Um, all those factors, I think, are really pushing Jun out of the format, which makes a huge hole for something like green-white to step in and, and take control. And I think that like a really aggressive green-white deck built properly and played well is slightly favored against the blue-white decks as well, which mm -hmm. is good. Um, like a quick smiter puts some... Like, a turn two smiter is just so hard for that deck to beat. Yeah. Because you you can never counter it, and all you can do is bounce it. Like, you're never... Like, the only way you can kill is, like, a double block, but that's not going to happen until, right. like, later in the game, so... Yeah, yep. Cool, cool. All right, guys. Well, uh, that was Todd Anderson playing green-white. Uh, Brian playing a some... five-color ramp deck, so... Yeah, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a little lopsided. Sometimes that's what happens, though. You just want to test out new decks. And even if you think it's going to be a bad matchup, you want to see just how bad it is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like we, we like to showcase uh, certain cards and certain decks uh, specifically to see whether or not they can function against uh, one of their bad matchups. Because if, like, green-white is a really popular deck in standard, and then we play, like, uh, you know, like five-color against that deck, uh, just to basically test it out i mean that's the whole point of this anyway like we're not just always trying to win we're just trying to find new decks new cards yeah and i like we want to play different things and like yeah discover new i thought i gave you the rule of no thrag tusk this week and you played some thrag tusk this I week know. so what, what rules i don't know i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> slip my memory yeah okay cool yeah. all right guys well appreciate you watching we'll see you next week yep todd anderson signing off brian brown doing also signing off so unoriginal